Brixton at the Ritzy in South London. And we've just shown Peacemakers, which is an interview between Jeremy Gilly and Prem Riot. The film was introduced by two guest speakers. It's a real pleasure and privilege to be invited to come and speak with you tonight. This was the first time Peacemakers was shown in the cinema and the screening was followed by insights from co-producer Paul Bloomfield. Nobody could say that that was, that was stage managed, it was completely a spontaneous thing and it was because I was going, oh my god, you know, we had these sort of themes of what, we, what was going to be asked and Jeremy had his bit of paper, you probably saw it on the table, an hour into this thing and he hadn't asked a single question. <laughs> it, it was like... Hopefully that's a, a wave of lots of people who are willing to stand up and say uh, that peace is possible. So, yeah. <laughs> I, do you know, and that's, that was my other reaction. There was at least twice during the film where I just really wanted to leap up and say, yes! You know, like, it's so simple. It really is so simple. People seem to have really enjoyed it. You could tell from the atmosphere in the room. And here are some guest interviews of people who are giving their fresh perspectives. Did you enjoy the movie? Right, I really enjoyed it. Um, I w I'm surprised how much I enjoyed it, actually. I thought that was a great film. I was very glad I came. I enjoyed it tremendously. Um, it was a great inspiration um, to myself and also to the people around me. The resonance of peace coming, coming out of the, the, the screening and feeling peaceful, feeling that the energy of peace, if you like, um, from, especially from Prem's message, was really, really clear. It's really beautiful. And I really enjoyed the contrast and how it felt like for me a real West meets East in terms of approaches to peace and the fact is that all approaches to peace are important and we need to include everybody. So inspiring to, to watch and to see the passion for peace and the chemistry that went on was just, it was just so inspiring and so uplifting. It was really interesting. I think it was nice to see something like that for, from a young person's perspective. And what did you find interesting? I think it was different from what you usually see on TV. A lot of things these days are more about explosions and Hollywood. Um, and it was nice to see something that genuinely talked about something that was good for your soul. I want to include everybody. This is good news and I want to say it again and again and again. Like you need to, I need to, everybody needs to, everybody needs to remember again and again and again and again. Peace is possible. Peace is possible, man. Yes, it is. And maybe one day, it'll stick. <laughs> Were you familiar with these messages before coming to the film? No, but I came in with an open mind. I did no research on purpose on either of the speakers because I wanted a clear head. I, I didn't want any opinion to be going, and that's why I was moved by both of their words. Whenever I hear somebody else talking about peace and love, it's something that, that, that opens up all my senses. I want to hear what they say. And um, I, I look a lot in the past for these um, messages, but I think it was very moving today to see it demonstrated in such an enthusiastic and, 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 and contemporary way. Was there anything in particular that struck you? Um, just the passion of the two people and the way that they could talk about something that's so intellectual and actually so intangible in a lot of ways but with so much passion and energy um, and I thought that was really worth listening to. The idea of world peace is, is really powerful. What struck me about this film was the power behind the notion that peace comes from within. I feel less alone. The majority of life and the majority of people are peaceful and are have the capacity to be peaceful. And it's actually our, our birthright. It's actually more difficult to not be peaceful. So we just need to remind ourselves and, as, as Prem said, just flip the coin and see that the, the reverse is always possible and it's always there. We hope to do many more of these in this cinema and even get larger cinemas because you can see from people's comments that these kind of films and efforts and initiatives can really make a difference. I just wish there were more of these. Thank you very much to uh, Prem Rarat and um, 
Jeremy Gilly and all the people who've been involved in making this film. And I'd like you to know that there's a whole body of people, as you know well, working in private, for whom your message is, is, is so important. It's reminding us to keep going, and, and so I want to thank you, thank you, thank you.